we're going to saddle this western horse choosing the equipment that's appropriate for the day that we're going to have in our sport of team penny and ranch sorting but this would be for all horses riding western we want to start with a good solid comfortable thick pad if we're going to choose to have something that's more decorative we as long as we've got this pad in place that's more protective we can add anything we wish in the way of decorative and take care to line it all up being sure that our first priority is that we're going to protect the horse western saddles are really heavy they can weigh as much as 50 to 60 pounds so we want to be sure that when we're on this horse for a long period of time this horse is going to be comfortable i've got my saddle ready the all the the girth and the cinch have been put up and we want to be sure when we bring that over the top of the horse we're trying to do it as carefully as we can so it doesn't just fall and fling over but rather we set it so i'm going to bring this saddle up lay it down nicely on her begin to straighten it and then taking care as i go around the back of her i'll go to the other side where i can be sure that everything is in fact lying flat in place i bring my front and back cinch down, check to see that it's going to fit properly, making sure the saddle pad is even on both sides, and then I'll come back around and begin to saddle. We want to put the girth on, first starting with the front cinch and then the back. This is sometimes called a bucking strap or a bucking cinch. And the reason we want to make sure we start with the front is that if this horse were to shake or in any way move quickly and this saddle were to fall and roll it wouldn't be suspended by a loose back cinch i'm going to reach underneath i know that it's been checked on the other side it looks to be in a pretty good position we want to make sure when i say position that it's this the securing ring is going to come up and come past her shoulder a bit as i tighten it it'll come up even further making for a more comfortable fit we keep wrapping our cinch strap, continuing to wrap and wrap until we just run out of any length of it. We go from front to back. Then as we get near the end, we can pull it up, snug it up, not necessarily making it as tight as we want it when we get on because we'll always check our cinch before we get on our horse. Then I pull back on the top strap that locks in our buckle and that's gonna make it fully secure to be sure that we can go on with our ride. We can tuck the end in just for neatness. And then I'm gonna to go to my back cinch. When I reach under and bring the back cinch up, I wanna be sure that it has just enough of a loose fit that I can get my hand in there, but not so much that it's gonna hang low where they might accidentally get their hind leg caught up in that back cinch. This saddle is where it needs to be it's aligned with the back of her shoulder. It's positioned even in, from a side to side point, and it's got plenty of saddle pad both in front and in back to ensure that there won't be any pressure points. It fits her well. There's a lot of clearance for her withers, as well as I can place my hand in here, assuring that her shoulders aren't being pinched in any way. So this is a good fitting saddle on this little horse.